Dorney and today I'm going to share with you this beautiful build a wreath set which comes with 11 gorgeous dies. You get three baubles, four leaves, three sprigs and the most beautiful pine cone. Um, there's an autumn feel and there's also a Christmas feel. So, you know, you can use them to uh, build up your wreath, but you can also use them on your cards and your projects um, in a, a, a sort of flat. I'll just show you a couple of the samples that the girls have made. This one um, has been made by Victoria, absolutely gorgeous. Um, lovely, uh, sort of, she just used white and this gorgeous uh, turquoise colour. And then we've got this large one, which Victoria's made again, and she's used um, well, a little bit of everything on there. She's put some baubles, she's got some berries, she's got some leaves. And then this one, this one's actually been made just out of white card and distress inks. I'm going to show you how you can use your distress inks to get that sort of graduated colour. Okay, the actual chipboard that you get, you get three large uh, uh, circles, you get three medium, and these are the centres from uh, the medium. But don't throw these away because you can use these, you could make coasters with them, toppers with them, you could do anything you like with them. Little mini hangers if you want to go on your Christmas tree. You could string all three together like a mobile or you can str uh, strand them on ribbon. Lots and lots that you can do with them. So as I say, today I'm going to concentrate on um, showing you uh, how, to, how to add some colour but in a patchy sort of way like you would get in, in nature, okay? Also, I'll just show you this. This is the first thing we're going to, I'm going to show you. They're not verso dies, but sometimes you want to put some colour behind it. And I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way that you can do that. Okay, so I'm going to use the bauble. This one is the round bauble. So I'm just going to pop it on the plate and run it through the machine. Okay. Let's get that off. Because it's delicate, I'm just going to use a, put my pokey tool in the release hole. And it will pop out beautifully. There we go. Now, see this that's left, your, your negative? We're going to use that to create our background. I'm going to apply some of our Nouveau mousse through there. So, so in effect, I'm going to use it as a stencil, okay? You don't have to be neat. Just splodge it on, like that, and there you go. You've got that lovely shape behind it. Then all you've got to do is to cut this out. I'll cut it very neatly. I'm not the best at cutting out, I have to say. But you don't have to be too neat, really. There we go. And this technique will, you, will work with all of the dies in this set, as well as any others that you've got at home. If you wanted to put a white background behind this, all you need to do, oh, there we go, come on, that's it. See, that will layer onto there like that. And if you wanted to layer that onto another um, piece of card with a, with a different sort of border behind it, all you would need to do, is get your die, draw around it, and then cut it out. And because that's that little bit bigger, you've got that sort of edge around it. So that's another way of using them. Okay, I'm going to show you now how to use your distress inks to create a sort of two-tone effect. And we're going to use the pine cone. So I've got my pine cone and I'm just going to run it through the machine and cut it out. This will work with your watercolour paints, anything like that. All you need is your paint and an applicator. I use one of those sponge 
Um, I think they're called a water drop shape. They look a, bit, look a bit like an egg. So I'm going to use one of those. Okay, so that's our pine cone cut out. Okay, so I've got some uh, card with a different colour so you, you can see it a bit better. And I'm using two different browns, two dis different distressings. And this is my trusty little foam thing, that I, applicator thing. If you've not got one of these, just nip to a chemist and buy some, um, there's like little latex makeup sponges, they work just as well. Now you don't have to be neat, you don't have to be artistic to do this, all you've got to do is dab. So I'm just going to pick up the lighter colour and I'm going to go over like that. Then I'm going to pick up some of the darker colour and I'm just going to randomly add some dark. Can you see? You've got all those tones and it's taken you just a few seconds. So you can use, as I say, you can use this technique with all the leaves. Use your greens, use your oranges for autumn colours, anything like that. And it will take in, you know, cut them out, get a production line going and just sit and have a, a dab with your distressings. Okay, so now we're going to construct this wreath. What I've done, I've cut some pine cones. I've cut some pine leaves here. I've cut some holly leaves and I've cut some berry sprigs. And these have all been painted with distressings, just as I did with the pine cone. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna construct this in bits. So we're gonna skip forward very quickly in between each bit. So once we, once we get one bit done, I'll stop and I'll explain what I've done and what I'm going to do. Okay, so the first thing, hot glue gun at the ready and at the, these are all die cut and all painted. So let's start. I've bent them over. I've just used um, a bow folder and I've just curled them slightly just to give them a little bit of dimension like that. Okay, so it's nine around the medium um, chipboard ring. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to layer one, put one layer on like that and then I'm going to add another layer on in between like that. Okay, so I'll see you in a minute when I've done that. So this is the base layer. Now you'll notice I've left a little gap here and that is so that I can hang my ribbon at the end. I'll put that on last. Now you'll probably see there's lots of little hot glue strands floating around. Don't worry about that at this point. What you can do at the end, you can get your hair dryer or a heat gun and you can just give it a blast and that will melt that and it will melt it into the wreath and nobody's going to see it. Similarly with all these bits of glue blobs of glue that you can see. Don't worry about it. Now I think this layer on its own is quite pretty. Um, so you could just actually go ahead and add some little red, you know, Nouveau glitter drops and stuff like that. You could add um, some faux berries that you can buy in, in the shops now. And that would look pretty on its own. But I'm going to carry on and I'm going to add now, I'm going to add some holly leaves. And again, as I say, these have just been uh, sponged with distress ink. So I'm going to add these and I'm going to place these in between here, all the way around. Okay. 
Okay, now we've added the holly leaves all the way around. And the next stage is we're going to add our pine leaves. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add these. These sit sort of in pairs in between those holly leaves, if that makes sense. So you can glue them together and stick them in as a pair if you want, or you can glue them individually. It's up to you. Okay, so I'm going to do that and I'll be back in a tick. Okay, so now we've got our pine leaves on and the next thing we're going to add is our berries. These have been done in exactly the same way as, as the rest of it, sponge down with green and then a little bit of red. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add these. These just sort of are woven randomly. You don't need to worry too much about where they go. And the red's there just to sort of pop, give a bit of a pop of colour. Okay, so I'll go ahead and I'll stick these down and I'll see you in a minute. and all glued down. If you want to, you can add little bits of glue and you can sort of bend your berries to give it even more dimension if you want. I'm not going to do that with this one, but it's just an option. Okay, so we're nearly finished. The last thing, last but one thing I should say, is I'm going to take some more pine leaves and I'm just going to add them around the inner part of the wreath. Um, that will also cover up any you know, bits of glue, any of your workings out, so to speak. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So now we've got our inner ring um, uh, leaves glued down and all that's left to do really is to add our ribbon. And the way I do this, I'll just pop a piece through there, make sure it's flat, like that, tie a little knot in it. And then I've made a double bow and I'm going to pop that on the top. If you want to add a little bit of hot glue there to keep the ribbon in place, you can do. And also, if you're going to do that, don't forget to do the back. The back doesn't look very pretty, but no one's going to see it. I should, I've just realised, I should have said before I started, that I'd actually sponged the chipboard ring with the Distress Inks as well. And if it's patchy, and it will go patchy, don't worry about it. It all adds to the rustic look. Okay, finally, a little bit of glue on my bow. Pop that in place. And there's your wreath all done. All ready to hang. As I said, if you want to just give it a blast with a hot uh, uh, hairdryer or a hot glue, uh, 
he gone rather and um, all these strands will just disappear they'll just melt into the ring and you won't see it something else you could do if you wanted you could get the um, gold embellishment mousse and you could just add little touches that would look nice the gold against that brown so I hope you've enjoyed that and um, look forward to seeing you again for another tutorial thanks for stopping by today